Good morning, friends and family of the internet. Welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. So my name is Samantha, and I just want to talk to you guys real quick about Neuralink. So if you're not sure what Neuralink is, it was basically created by Elon Musk. It's a company that works with people who have lost their ability to move and or speak. Some people think it's from hell. Some people think it's from heaven. It's basically connecting your brain to a computer, to an interface. Now, they're on their third implant of Neuralink. It happened January of 2025. Brain implant. I'm also the first person with ALS and the first nonverbal, which means that I rely on it for all communication. I am making this video using the brain computer interface to control the mouse on my MacBook Pro. This is the first video edited with the Neuralink and maybe the first edited with a BCI. This is my old voice narrating this video, cloned by AI from recordings before I lost my voice. I want to explain how Neuralink has impacted my life and give you an overview of how it works. I have ALS, a really weird disease that kills the motor neurons that control my muscles, but not affecting my mind. My experience has been pretty interesting starting with a shoulder injury that would not heal and ending up with my current status. I cannot move anything but my eyes and I'm totally reliant on a ventilator to keep me alive and breathing. He was implanted January of 25. I found his story on X this morning. Folks, I was blown away. What Neuralink has allowed this, this gentleman to be able to do. Now, whether or not you like Elon Musk, whether or not you think this technology may be used for worse, not good, because I know folks, I mean, if you have a brain like me, I'm thinking, wow, they could take this and put Neuralink inside of soldiers and soldiers could run robots on the battlefield, you know, taking the human side, the human element, the empathy out of warfare, if you could even have that in warfare. I see how this could be manipulated and used for evil. But that's one people creating the technology to make sure their technology is not used for the wrong purposes. But trust me when I tell you, the story I'm fixing to share with you is going to blow your mind. Because this gentleman now has the ability to think and basically type with his mind a response. He can communicate with his young children. I heard that the other two people love this feature, the chat app and communication. The hardest thing about ALS is thinking much faster than I can type. We have created a chat app that uses AI to listen to the conversation and gives me options to say in response. It uses Grok3 and an AI clone of my old voice to generate options for me to say. It is not perfect but it keeps me in the conversation and it comes up with some great ideas. My friend asked me for ideas for his girlfriend who loves horses. I chose the option that told him in my voice to get her a bouquet of carrots. What a creative and funny idea. We are also working on a faster way to type with the cursor. Guys, don't, it, don't judge. Let's put it that way. Just don't judge until you hear this gentleman's story because I was very leery of Neuralink because I know how they use science. Anything connecting the human mind to a brain has horrific potential to end up really bad for the human race. I, I'm not ignorant to that. But this gentleman basically received life again after this illness had taken it from him. So if you'd like to support our channel and more videos like this, please look in the top of comments. There's four ways to do so. YouTube demonetized us because they think I'm harmful to liberals and we need to push back against that. So I pray that you will row with us and enjoy this video. Neuralink has given me freedom, hope, and faster communication. Overall, the whole Neuralink experience has been fantastic. It has improved my life so much. I am so happy to be involved in something big that will help many people. You've probably already noticed at this point that this gentleman seems to be super positive and I just want to point, I want to take one second and I want to point that out to you guys. Life can be very difficult for people, but it is your attitude 
during those hard times that makes life worth living and living better than you could have. This guy could be so angry. He could be angry at God. He could be angry at technology. He could be angry at himself, but he's not. In fact, he's a believer of Jesus Christ. But with time, I am learning to trust his plan for me. I'm a better man because of ALS. I'm a better disciple of Jesus Christ because of ALS. I'm closer to my amazing wife, literally and figuratively because of ALS. I get to work with the brilliant people at Neuralink and do really interesting work, all because of ALS and because we listened when the Holy Spirit told us to move to Arizona, where Neuralink ended up opening their first site. Don't get me wrong, ALS still really sucks. But I am talking about the big picture. That is what I have learned. God loves me and my family. He has answered our prayers in unexpected ways. He has blessed my kids and our family. So I am learning to trust that God knows what he is doing. The big picture is, I am happy. Tiffany is the greatest person I have ever known, and I get to spend eternity with her. My kids are doing well, especially under the circumstances. And I can control the computer with telepathy. Life is good. Life is good, folks. Every breath you take is a gift from, the, from God in heaven. I tell you guys all the time, do whatever the Holy Spirit tells you to do, because it is his job to warn you what is coming in the future. If you know your Bible, you know that the Holy Spirit has been through the past, the future, and the present. He knows how this ends. God loves you. You are uniquely and perfectly, wonderfully created in his image, folks. Do whatever the Holy Spirit tells you to do. If he's telling you to move, start a business, row in Sam's boat today, I advise that you listen to him. This gentleman is a true believer in Jesus Christ. I can tell you why, because he said we listened to the Holy Spirit when he told us to move to Arizona. God knows what's coming and he'll prepare you if you'll let him. Love you guys so much. We've got another great video that's gonna be going out today on TDS, Trump, derangement syndrome and the state senator that tried to make it a criminal offense and a mental illness to have TDS. But that story is much deeper and much darker than it sounds. So subscribe, hit your notification bell so you get all the updates.